He has a wicked sense of humor, which brings to life over 50 quick change paper costumes for a hilariously entertaining show. And Yo Marquetto joins me now with more on his upcoming show premiering at Club Fugazi. Thank you Fugazi. so much for joining Hello. us. Hello, hi, ciao. <laughs> hi, how are you? How are you? I'm doing really well. How are I'm you? I'm very excited because I've been in San Francisco twice and I perform already a couple of months. Long times ago. Long time ago, but you like San Francisco. I love San Francisco, of course. Amazing. It's beautiful. The rain, the, the rain is like in, in Italy now. Uh, yeah. Mostly the same weather. Well, that's good. I'm so glad yeah. that you feel a little bit at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and for our viewers who may not know, what is a quick change artist or a quick change performer? Um, the, the very different fact is that I use in paper costume mm -hmm. and they are very uh, creative mm -hmm. because like the guitar of Bruce Springsteen transform into the hair of Dolly Parton mm -hmm. or Sonny and Bono, Sonny and Cher together and Cher is sitting on the shoulder of uh, Sonny Bono and so I do very strange and funny things. The show is for every ages and I got 60 different characters in one hour. So it means that every character lasts for one minute. Mm -hmm. So the show is very quick. Very That's why. And I change on my own in a very quick way. Mm -hmm. And how did you come up with this idea, and yo, of all the, these different characters? The idea come from a dream that I made when I was 20. No, now I'm 21. No. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> the dream, in the, that dream, Marilyn was dressed like in the white, the white dress or seven, uh, what is the name of the, in Italian is a different title. Mm -hmm. um, so this idea come from this the dream i woke up i take a white cardboard and i cut out the figure of marilyn mm -hmm. and then after a while i realized that it was very unique and different than other artists mm -hmm. so i immediately i did elvis Presley, i did tina i did pavarotti i did uh, uh, harry styles now in the show mm -hmm. and for san francisco i prepare 10 different characters, just specially for San Francisco, like Tony Bennett, wow. Judy Garland. Um, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of characters. That's amazing. So I have to ask you, when it comes to the different characters that you parody, how do you choose who goes into the show? Because you just mentioned it goes by location as well. It's very important to find a gag. If we don't find a gag, actually, because we work on two, two people, me and uh, my friend Sosten Hennekam is a Dutch guy, Dutch designer. And so we worked together since 30 years that I'm doing the same show, mm -hmm. 30 years. Uh, can be a meaning of the song, can be the, the, the body, can be an idea that come, but it's important to have a, find a gag for each character. Mm. That makes sense to yes. ensure that, ensure that exactly. it's funny and everybody yes. understands. Yeah. For you, what kind of preparation goes into having to understand 60 different characters? Now it's easy for me. Uh, maybe the last character that I did for San Francisco, I'm not sure about them because I never try out. It's, I'm a big tension, but I hope it's going to be perfect. Yeah. Because they have funny, beautiful costume from Lizzo to Diana Ross. This is a new one. And I got so many, I don't even remember. <laughs> and you said you've been doing this for over 30 years 30 now. 30 years. So for you, what has changed from the beginning up until now? It changed a lot. But actually, I, I start by accident. I start doing costume for the carnival that we have in Venice. And then somebody saw my show and I won a prize in Italy. And then I've been to Edinburgh Festival in, uh, in Scotland. Mm -hmm. And I start to perform everywhere. Do you have a favorite character that you've ever played uh, before? Actually, I'm still in love with Marilyn because she gave yeah. me the idea to do this show. And then always the last creation, maybe the last creation is Lizzo and Diana, so. So many amazing characters is probably so hard many. to choose one. And but like you said, Marilyn. But American culture, musical culture was always my favorite. So I always do Elvis and American characters because they are, they are funny, they are beautiful music, and mm -hmm. I like the rock music, the pop music, disco music, so. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, like so many different this options. this kind of mixture that I, is interesting for the yeah. audience. And Ennio, when people come to your show, or if there are people out there listening right now and they want to come to your show, what would you say that they can expect from a performance? Uh, fun, they laugh, 
and the costume aesthetically are really fantastic and it's fun how they change because they can fold up they can go behind i do very funny things with the costume they are very mach machine mm -hmm. it's so difficult to make it and so funny in front of an audience because i change in front of an audience yeah, that sounds so cool. And when it comes to the costumes, how, for you, creating each one, do you create each costume? Yeah, we are two people. We work together. I mostly do the wig because I try in front of a mirror. So I'm, if it's too much, I cut. If it's too mm, little, I had. Uh -huh. So. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like an incredible performance, and I'm looking forward I to it. I still enjoy after 30 years. Yes, so. that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Enyo, for joining us here Thank on you. Live in the Bay. I appreciate you. it. Thanks.